This season is challenging on many levels, this Christmas season. One of those levels is how society, through commercials and advertising, uh, they make this time of year all about, you know, quote unquote, getting her the diamond she's always wanted or getting engaged or attending holiday parties with family with that date, you know, that it's time for the whole family to meet them and there's so much pressure and there's so much um, energy around, you know, that. And it always gets me pondering, you know, many of us are raised to believe that we are somehow not complete without another person in our life, that we are half of a whole without a romantic partner, that without a relationship, we are flawed or lacking or broken in some way. And not only is this incorrect, but it's also damaging and really dangerous because it can push people into situations or relationships that are not healthy. You know, people might stay or be in a relationship where they're being abused physically, emotionally, verbally, sexually, spiritually, economically, psychologically. And they stay because they believe that if they leave this person and choose to be alone, society will somehow judge them as being less than or broken, damaged, not worthy unlovable, wrong, or worse than that, an embarrassment. Or it leads people to feeling so unworthy about themselves, like they don't fit in, and it can feed into an already dark depression that happens at this time of year. Loneliness is not the same as being alone. Being alone can be quite empowering and deep and spiritual and beautiful. Loneliness can hurt in a much deeper and more desperate way. I've actually heard people say, well, I'd rather be with that person than be single. Nothing's worse than being single. Or, you know, this is the best I can do and God, I sure don't want to be alone. Companionship is lovely. So many gifts and wonderful aspects come with companionship. And it's not some panacea. It's not a guarantee. And it's not for everyone. Because I'll tell you something, being alone is lovely as well. And there are so many gifts and wonderful aspects to being alone. And if you're able to realize that being alone doesn't mean that we are flawed or a mistake, to realize that we don't need to be pitied because we choose it, or we choose to not settle for whatever's out there or something less than what we really want to experience or deserve, if we could just get past all of the societal pressures and just see each other as whole from day one. Whole as we already are. Beautiful, lovable, and wonderful as we are. Just imagine the kind of love, and I mean big L, capital L, love, we could welcome into our lives if we just simply embraced ourselves. You are enough. I am enough. We are here because we're enough. Let's remember that. Let's work towards loving and honoring and cherishing and appreciating ourselves as much as we long for another to do that for us. Let's engage ourselves. And if the season is bringing us down, then let's choose to do something loving for another person who may need to be reminded of this as well. Surrounding you all in love and light and seeing you 
as perfection. Peace.